Hello again and welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this lovely Wednesday afternoon. Happy hump day. Hope you guys are having an awesome week. I hope you're ready for the rest of the week moving into the weekend. We are closing in on Christmas, which means we are closing in on shutdown holiday season. This is uh, the most wonderful time of the year. Just ask anybody. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> what I wanted to talk about a little bit today in particular was um, how to have more energy, um, how to get yourself out of fatigue, sort of like that. Uh, Wednesday is sort of, you know, the... It's it's one of the days, not really the day, but it's one of the days where your excitement for the week sort of starts wearing down <clears throat> and you're ready for the weekend. You're starting to flip the switch in the weekend mode and you're running out of energy real quick. Um, <laughs> you're running out of time, running out of patience, running out of energy real quick. And um, so it, that's where I come in to help. I've got a few tips that help me and uh, I wanna share them with you. Hopefully they help you out too. Hopefully you get some value out of this. Let's get right into it. Tip number one, in order to give yourself more energy, more uh, less fatigue, more excitement, is to manage your stress. Um, we did a video a couple days ago about managing stress. Um, you know, different ways to kind of cope with it. Uh, this time of year is definitely considered one of the most stressful times, um, you know, add in what's going on in the world and that's just the next level, right? But um, figuring out a way to manage those feelings, um, to manage that sort of, um, you know, mood that you're in, um, that state of mind, that frame of mind that you're in is going to be very beneficial for you um, in the long run to give yourself more energy, to, to sort of uh, allow yourself to let go of things, um, sort of things that are keeping on your, that, that you're holding on your shoulders or you're holding in the back of your mind. You got to let that stuff go. Uh, you got to get over that. Um, it's just weighing you down and it's not really doing you much of a benefit. It's actually more of a detriment to your health. A little bit of stress is good, but a lot of stress is not very good. A lot of anything is not very good. Um, so a little bit of stress, learn how to manage it. It's, it, it. it's definitely a struggle, but it's definitely something worth investing the time and effort into. Number two is to space out your tasks. Definitely want to give yourself more time to do things. Um, try and do less uh, in the day if you need to. Overwhelm is definitely a cause of stress. Um, it's definitely something that people deal with. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's, again, especially this time of year. Um, overwhelm, uh, it's too much to do, not enough time. Plus you still have to go to work <clears throat> and you gotta do all the other things that you're supposed to do in the day already. So it's not, it's not a wonder why you know you, you run yourself into the ground and then all of a sudden you're just done. That's it, game over. You're, you know, you hit, hit the pillow at the end of the night and you're done. That's it, not even anything can wake you up. And while that's good to be able to fall asleep um, right away and to not sort of toss and turn. It's not so good to carry that with you throughout the day um, to be having that burden on you. So when you're trying to do too much, I, like I know for me personally, when I'm trying to do too much in a little bit amount of time, I, I can find myself getting very overwhelmed very easily. And then I, I kind of either short circuit myself um, try to figure out shortcuts or I don't put all of my energy into what I'm supposed to be doing I put a little a bit of energy into a lot of things and that's not really what we want to do We want to space out the tasks give yourself less to do in more time That way you can put all of your effort and time and energy into that one task and that way um, when you when you finish it, you can actually cross it off your list and it'll give you a little bit more motivation to keep going. And that way it gives you a little bit of excitement um, so that you're not always just feeling down in the dumps. Um, my next tip is proper nutrition. You definitely need to watch what you eat. Um, the, the old saying is true, you are what you eat. And if you're just filling your body with garbage and junk food and you know take out every day, <clears throat> I know, you know the saying nowadays is that you're supporting small businesses and that's, and while that's all fine and well, um, supporting small businesses is not going to get you into, it's not going to get you the proper nutrition that your body needs to be able to do uh, what it needs to do and to perform at an optimal level. So definitely get your, um, get your nutrition, fruits and vegetables, home cooked meals. 
definitely want to be knowing what you're putting into it um, so you can sort of serving I know that one of the one of the big fashion trends of the uh, you know of the restaurant world is to bigger servings for less money so they give you more bang for your buck and while it's great from a buyer's perspective it's terrible from a body perspective because you're just overloading yourself with food um, and while it may be good it may be good um, a lot of it is not good for you and that's where you get the over you know the the gassy bloated feeling and um, that's not what you want to feel either <clears throat> so definitely be mindful of what you're eating what you're putting in your body and you know everybody gets a cheat day definitely take a cheat day who doesn't right you can't be you're not Superman nor are you a robot so just do what feel com feels comfortable for you, but just understand that every once in a while, you gotta give yourself a nice home-cooked meal, some fruits and veggies, definitely own it, enjoy it, love it. To go along with proper nutrition is a little bit of exercise. <clears throat> Nobody likes hearing that you need to exercise, but if you want to, um, it, it, and it, it, this is, it more than anything if you want to have more energy you got to you got to do the exercise you got to put your body through a little bit of a movement that <clears throat> right off the bat what that's going to do is make you more tired at the end of the night so that you have a better sleep and you wake up well rested and with more energy <clears throat> but also what it's going to do is it's actually going to get your heart rate going pump up your blood and then automatically give you more energy that's the way it works and um you know, it doesn't have to be, I, I know like gym memberships nowadays aren't really a thing anymore, but it doesn't have to be a gym membership. It just has to be, you know, a walk around the block, maybe go for a jog, maybe walk to places that you would normally drive, um, you know, park sort of at the back of the, of the mall parking lot and just walk um, to the door as opposed to driving around for half an hour trying to find that spot right next to the door. Um, different ways that you can incorporate exercise into your day. It doesn't have to be strenuous. It doesn't have to be something that you go out of your way to do. It doesn't even have to be something that you need to schedule in. <clears throat> at work, take the stairs instead of the elevator if it's at all possible for you. I know for me particularly, uh, we live in an apartment building and if somebody told me to take the stairs up to my floor, I would call them crazy. We live on the ninth floor. So for me, um, I, would, I would tell myself, you know, maybe get off at the eighth floor <clears throat> and do one, one flight of stairs. And then once that becomes good, maybe the seventh floor and do that one flight of stairs. And who knows, maybe you could, you could definitely get to a point where you do nine flights of stairs instead of the elevator. People would call you nuts, but you could definitely do it. And while that may be a goal that you would strive for, it's definitely not something that you're going to maintain if that's your goal right off the bat. There's no way you're going to climb nine, nine flights of stairs <laughs> two times a day every single day. I, I don't think so. I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to put you down. I don't mean to bring you in a spot like that. I just mean that when you set goals that are not realistic, <clears throat> it, it takes a lot out of you to try and uh, to try and fulfill that task and to try and do those goals. And when you don't come down, it, it, it all comes crashing down and you, you, you know, you get so down on yourself, you make yourself feel worthless and like you don't have any self-worth. And that's definitely not what you want to do. And that's definitely not where your energy comes from. When you've got bad energy going out and coming in, you're definitely not going to have any, any energy left. So you put good energy in your body, good thoughts, um, you know, uh, give yourself a mo motivation. Definitely. That's, that's what you need to do. Um, my next tip is to do more of what excites you. Now, I mean, let's get real here. Waking up, going to work, unless you love your job, which, you know, I would assume 80% of the population doesn't completely love your job. This is what I'm talking about. Um, it's probably more of a chore for you to go there. Now, unless you're, you know, some world-class cook, it's probably more of a chore for you to cook than it is excitement. Unless you're, you know, you're putting something new together and that actually excites you. So what you want to do is you want to break up, you know, sort of the boring, monotony, tediousness of your regular life. That is just, you know, sort of wake up, go to work, come home, cook, clean, laundry, all that stuff. Do more of what excites you. If that means that you need to pick up a hobby. Uh, if, if you don't know what excites you, an exciting task could be to figure out what excites you. Just start writing stuff down. What do you like to do? Why do you like to do that? Why does that bring you joy? Why do you think that would bring you joy? Will, are you sure that's going to bring you joy? Or maybe was that something that you 
you know, wanted to do before, but don't really feel like that's something cool now, or I, I, who knows? Start jotting it down. You're going to come up with ideas that you didn't even know you had in there because once you start writing down, putting pen to paper, your mind just starts going crazy and going nuts. And you're just going to write down stuff that you didn't even know you were thinking of. Do find some, and then once, you, once you've written it down, find something that you can do, uh, maybe not on a daily basis, but definitely on a weekly basis. Um, if it's something big, a monthly basis, definitely, um, to try and give yourself more excitement in life. Because you, like, you know it. When you're excited, when, think about a plane ride, right? When you're going on vacation, you can't sleep the night before. Christmas morning, can't sleep the night before. You're excited. You can't, you're, you're not uh, in a state of restfulness where you're looking to go to sleep. Your excitement, you're excited, you're, you're up, you're at it, you're ready to go. You're bringing on, you're taking on life and you're, you know, bring it on. I can do whatever I want. If you find something that excites you and brings you more excitement and more joy in your life, you're automatically more energetic and you're, you're a happier, better person to be around because you're not so Debbie Downer all the time. My last tip would help me more than anything was essential oils. Uh, essential oils for me help me with whatever uh, problem, ailment, concern that comes up in my life. Um, and definitely to have more energy is definitely a thing that essential oils are are good for right as soon as you open the bottle and smell it it just it's just a, a you know a wave right in the face uh, one of the greatest ones for that is peppermint uh, peppermint is one of my favorite oils actually it's one of everybody's favorite oils it is one of the top selling oils that doTERRA has to offer and it's you know it's it's amazing I love it don't touch your eyes with it it's very hot um, Please don't touch your eyes with it. Uh, but other than that, it's, it, like, I love it. It's very uplifting, invigorating. I put a uh, drop on the back of my neck. For me personally, I like using the, the roller bottle just because it's got the cool roller top. Um, it just makes for easier application. For me personally, um, I know that the oil, like, it's, not, it's not that it's, it's super complicated to use the oil. You just open the bottle and pour a drop into your hand. But for me, I just like the I like the roller. I find it it's easier for me, and and it's awesome. I love it for the cooling sensation. I love it for the invigoratingness that it gives you. Uh, me personally, I work in a factory, so it get really hot. Uh, peppermint on the back of my neck is great for cooling. Um, I don't really suggest it, but peppermint under the armpits will really cool you down. But it's definitely gonna burn a little bit. Um, another great one is spearmint. Uh, spearmint is from the peppermint family and it is actually an offshoot. Or, sorry, not the peppermint family, from the mint family. And this one, I mean, you know what? Gum, <laughs> toothpaste. What else am I smelling here? And this, and this is this is actually awesome. I love it. I love <clears throat> I love this one actually putting a drop or two on my mask. Um, it's not so much so intense that it'll burn. It's actually a, a kind of a less, actually it's, what's funny about spearmint is it's, it's a less intense peppermint, but some people actually find it's more intense than peppermint, which is, you know, personal preference. Everybody's different. Um, I love this one, putting, oops, fumble, <laughs> putting a couple drops um, just on my collar actually is where I, because that way I get the, um, uh, I get the set, the smell, the aromatic benefits of the oil all day long. And then once I start sweating, or if I do start sweating, it creates like its own diffuser. And then that way I'm getting aromatic as well as topical benefits. And it, <laughs> it's awesome. Another one of my favorites actually for this sort of situation is On Guard. Now On Guard is not, is, is, a, is a blend. It's an essential oil blend. And it's actually the protective blend from doTERRA. But to me, it and it's not actually used for uplifting or invigorating. But to me, it smells like Christmas. So, I mean, if you're ever feeling down in the dumps, for most people, the smell of Christmas will just excite you right away. And it will definitely bring you to a place of joy, um, to a place where you are no longer feeling down um, and you can bring yourself back into an uplifted state. Like I said, it's, it's a protective blend. It's good for uh, immune support and stuff like that. But for me, I love it because it smells like Christmas. Um, it is. It does contain cinnamon and clove, uh, so definitely be, be careful. It's a hot oil. I tried it on. I tried that one on my mask, and it's very hot, and it burns your face. But uh, again, it, again, it smells like Christmas. So some things you just get over. Uh, that's all I got for you for today. 
Um, so it's my tips for you to how to how to have more energy. Energy for me. I hope for you. One is to manage stress. Number two is to space out your tasks. Don't try and do everything all at once. Uh, proper nutrition. Definitely make sure you're getting you're filling your body with the proper vitamins and minerals that it needs. Uh, exercise. Definitely want to aim for half an hour to an hour a day. Um, what's the movement? Sixty minutes a day. Um, you want to try and get your heart rate going. That's the way that you're. That, that's the way that you work out your heart is to get it pumping blood. Um, and that's that's definitely only going to make it beneficial for you. Do more of what excites you. Um, if you don't know what excites you, definitely write stuff down. Try and figure out something that does excite you, and that's going to be an exciting task in itself. Number five, essential oils, or number six, I guess. Essential oils, for me, they help me more than anything. That's what they are used for right here for, uh, for um, you know, mental uh, boosts, emotional support. Anytime you need an uplifting or invigorating sensation, definitely essential oils. That's all I got for you for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I uh, hope you found some value in this. I definitely had some fun making it. Um, if you'd like to learn more, uh, feel free to share this with your friends, uh, family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about essential oils or how to get your hands on some of these cool things that I'm talking about, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message, and uh, reach out to me. We'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys have an awesome Wednesday evening, and I look forward to talking to you. Bye for now.